We start our list on Pink Day as Haley Barber grabs this rebound, takes the ball coast to coast, absorbs the contact and the finish as Barber and the Camels beat Asheville inside the arena. At number nine, Campbell track and field set record marks at the Big South Indoor Championships as the women had their best ever finish, second overall. And the men notched their third runner-up finish in the last four years. Number eight, what an opening weekend for Rachel McCollum. She led Campbell with seven hits, four doubles, and three home runs, including a five RBI outing to kickstart the season against St. Francis. At number seven, Campbell Tennis went 7-0 in the month of February, including this 5-1 win over ECU. The final point kickstarted the Campbell's 9-1 start to the season, their best since 2011. Anything you can do, I can do better, as Vile Haino gets a pin in 45 seconds. Jerry right behind his tail, a 52-second pin, as Campbell blanked VMI 42 to nothing. Their first shutout win over a D1 opponent since 1995. At number five, the Camels were trailing early, but a fifth inning rally got them right back into the ball game as Cole Hallam rips this 3-2 fastball on the left and the Camels took the series over Northern Kentucky. We saw what Clemens did in March, but it all got started in the final day of February as Clemens soaring block and eventual slam dunk landed him on SportsCenter and propelled the Camels run to the finals of the Big South Conference Tournament. At number three, Caroline Bounds couldn't miss. She hit nine three-pointers, a program record, and led the Camels to a dominant win over Winthrop. Bounds, the leading three-point shooter in the conference, was nothing but net against the Eagles. At number two, it's the fastest couple on campus, as Amon Terrer and Joanne Maritim took home individual titles in the Big South Indoor Championship. The men and women's track and field athletes of the year took home six gold medals as Amon and Joanne were dominating the podium in Winston-Salem. Your top play of the month came down to one final swing as Big 2-0 took care of business. It's a walk-off dinger and Campbell softball started the season with a comeback win over St. Francis. That's your top ten plays for the month that was. We'll see you in March for the biggest moments of Campbell sports.